Hi, my name is Poonam Velgapudi and I'm an interventional cardiologist at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Today I'm going to be presenting um, an algorithm on balloon and crossable lesion. So I'm going to start off with this case of a 65-year-old man who presented with NSTEMI. You can see his past medical history, his vitals were stable, um, his labs were um, stable and his troponin was 0 0.10 and 0 0.08. So the left system was normal uh, with minimal luminal irregularities and this is his right um, coronary artery and you can see that uh, um, very uh, calcified slash thrombus like lesion um, in the mid RCA. Um, so I started off with a six French guide. Um, really did not give me much support and wired it with a run-through hypercoat and every time I uh, push the wire forward it would push the guide backward. Um, a balloon would not pass. Uh, I used multiple low-profile balloons. Uh, second body wire would not pass. Um, used a guide catheter extension but it was still pushing um, the guide and the guide catheter out. Um, could not use the anchor technique uh, because there was no side branches proximal to the lesion and uh, tried a fine cross which would not cross but was pushing the guide out. So at this point I was going to use um, another micro catheter uh, such as turnpike but at this point I decided to stop and uh, exchange my guide to a more supportive guide. So I used an AL.75 and you can see it's sitting nicely with back wall support. And um, I, um, at this point I decided to try the rota floppy wire and with some difficulty I was able to cross the lesion and um, put the wire in the distal um, artery. So after this, it was smooth sailing. I did a 075 rotational atherectomy, dilated with a 30 uh, by 15 NC balloon. And um, here's the stent, uh, was underexpanded and so post dilated with a 50 by 15 NC and is uh, the final result um, after. So
uncrossable lesions are not uncommon. Uh, these are lesions that cannot be crossed with a balloon after successful guide wire crossing. These are seen in tortuous and calcified arteries and CTOs. 10% of CTO PCIs are balloon uncrossable and it's the second most common barrier to success. It is more likely to be uh, seen heavily calcified tortuous and uh, these lesions have higher JCTO scores. And when you have these kind of lesions, then you would utilize longer procedure times, radiation dose, and contrast volumes with lower likelihood of procedural success. So this is a nice abstract that was present a few years ago of uh, 594 CTO PCIs were looked at between 2013 and 2015 at 10 U.S. centers. Uh, the prevalence of uh, balloon uncrossable lesions was 10.3% of all CTOs. Uh, these lesions had a higher uh, failure to stent. The technical and procedural success was significantly lower. The incidence of MACE, though, was similar. Um, there was longer procedure time and longer fluoroscopy uh, time with these lesions. Now, this is a nice algorithm of for, uh, balloon uncrossable lesions. And you can see there are first line, second line, and third line therapies. And I'll go through um, each one of them individually. So, First and most important is your guide catheter support. It is really important uh, to have a, a good size and shape of your guide catheter. So larger diameter catheters may sometimes be needed, such as seven French and eight French, depending on the work you're going to do. So you want to decide that upfront and use them. Your shape, supportive guide catheters will give you backup support from the contralateral wall as well as coaxial alignment and deep engagement sometimes will give you active support but you have to be careful with these size uh, catheters that it can uh, lead to dissections and you have to be really careful now guide catheter extensions are another way um, they um, help in uh, facilitating smooth pathway to the lesion as you can see in the illustration um, it could be a five French uh, guide catheter extension in a six French guide or a six French extension in a seven French guide so you would pick based on the size of your guide you can advance it in um, two ways you can use an anchor technique where you inflate a balloon distally and then advance the extension over the balloon or um, you could also use the inchworm technique where um, you inflate the balloon distally and then the guide catheter extension is pulled over the balloon as it is deflated. Now you can see in my figure in this case I had to extend my guide catheter extension all the way down uh, to the mid LED in order to pass a balloon through an under expanded stent. Now this multiple guide catheter extension, you have the telescope for the Medtronic, you have the guidezilla for Boston Scientific, um, you have guide liner, um, and so on and so forth. So the next thing is a good balloon selection. You need to, you can pick a low profile semi-compliant balloons. These are lubricious, uh, those that have lubricious coatings and low crossing profiles. And I've listed a bunch of them here. Um, the Takeru has a very nice crossing profile. You can use uh, the Sapphire, um, or the mini track and sprinter legend um, etc now wire support is an important um, uh, another important way uh, to cross these uh, lesions um, the wiggle wire uh, produced by the Abbott vascular has multiple wiggles as you can see in the figure below and it shifts the direction of pushing forces thus the balloon and the stent are pushed away from the arterial wall um, and that's helpful for advancing um, uh, equipment that you may not be able to advance um, on a straight wire. Now buddy wire is you can use a second wire uh, straight and tortuous bends and reduces friction um, and third is you can use a wire cutting or seesaw wire cutting as you see in the figure below where you put two wires in a vessel and you put one balloon um, inflate one with a balloon and you pull the other wire uh, will help form make cuts in the lesion and then make it softer to cross. Now anchoring techniques are another way where you can inflate a balloon in the proximal side branch. This enhances guide catheter stability and alignment and appropriate sizing of balloon is important to prevent side branch dissection and perforation. And also it should be large enough not to slip. You could also use a guide wire in a side branch uh, to stabilize the guide catheter. 
Now, microcatheters are a, a very important uh, part of, uh, you know, way to cross uh, these lesions. These are tapered pushable devices with ability to transmit torque into and beyond resistant lesions. Um, now, there's Tornus, Corsair, Fine Cross, Turnpikes, and the Mamba catheters, and um, uh, you need to really know um, how to um, use these catheters and how to um, advance these catheters within a lesion. Now, micro dissection um, is, a is another technique uh, using a balloon. Uh, in this kind of technique, you would uh, advance a balloon against the lesion, as you see in the figure below, and then it is intentionally ruptured just adjacent to the lesion. This creates micro dissections around or into the lesion, and then it will modify the lesion. Now, as soon as the balloon ruptures, it's important to pull back. Uh, so there is uh, not any air introduced. And atherectomy is an important uh, uh, form as well. Various kinds of atherectomies, you know, the eczema laser, the uh, rotational atherectomy or orbital atherectomies. Um, you can use these if your um, atherectomy wire is across, um, you're able to um, perform atherectomy. Now, um, there are other techniques, the CTO techniques, the dissection re-entry, uh, techniques as you can see in this figure uh, the seat just like you cross a CTO segment uh, you can cross this um, lesion uh, sub intimally and then re-enter using a string ray balloon uh, you would leave the wire in place in the distal vessel so um, it helps you guide your re-entry into the vasculature and thus uh, so here's that um, Algorithm one more time. Uh, first line treatments are small, low profile balloons, um, increased guide capsular support, buddy wire uh, using guided extensions, and anchoring wire or balloon, micro catheters such as the Corsair, Caravel, Turnpike, Tornis, um, and if one fails, try another one. Uh, second line uh, therapies include uh, balloon assisted micro dissection, ELCA. Uh, orbital atherectomy, rotablation, intravascular rhythmotripsy, which um, is not available for coronaries right now, and the third line uh, subintimal approach, uh, such as dissection reentry and subintimal anchor, retrograde balloon anchor in uh, CTO cases. Thank you so much.